Spices, hence my name is Ellie. I am the resident soap maker, product maker, designer, everything basically. And with my boyfriend Byron, we create nerdy soap and candles based here in New Zealand. I like reading books, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> today I am reviewing Pure Nature's Whipped Body Butter Kit. I wanted to learn how to make whipped body butter because I've had so many requests to start stocking it. But because I come at this with a textile design background and not a sciencey, I've only done one course on how to make soap and then taught myself everything else, I wanted to learn. And tutorials, they're good, but um, I wanted to get a kit because I kind of had the money and I wanted to try it out. So this kit retails for $25, it comes with a whole lot of things which you'll see soon when I start doing my voiceover. Um, and it makes four, uh, what size is this, like small little tins. And they're like, it, it makes them completely, like there's no like not enough for the tins. So it does make four products, um, yes. <laughs> and this you get to pick your fragrance oil. So my fragrance oil that I picked was Cotton Candy, simply because I'm planning on making the Trolley Lady, which is one of my soaps, into a wet body butter sneak peek for September, if it works out. Um, so I decided I would try out the cotton candy and see how that smells. I know that my trolley lady has uh, more scents in it, but yes, I did. I just picked the one scent that I knew that I'd probably want to use again. Um, so yes, this is the body butter. It is very nice. It is a bit thick, um, which isn't really my jam, but it is like really moisturizing and it feels really nice and it makes your skin look all nice and shiny and I think it does what body butters do. I haven't really used them that much. I have like ages ago and it has the same effects as the other body butters that I use. Um, so yes, this is that kit. I really enjoyed this kit. I thought it was really simple. This instructions for this kit and this kit is really worth the money in my opinion and it's given me an insight on how to use body butter or how to make body butter. Um, the only downside is that they've in their kit they've got like a cocoa butter no, they've got a shea butter and mango butter blend, but like on their website they don't have that and they don't give you any information about the ratios. And then they've also got a sunflower oil and antioxidant blend and they don't have that on their website and so they don't have those ratios either written down anywhere. So it is a bit hard say I want to then go make my own body butter using this recipe because I really like it. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, that is the only thing I didn't like about the kit. Everything else I loved. So without further ado, let's get in with the video. So, I'm doing a voiceover for this video simply because I wanted to watch things in the background while I was making this kit, uh, which is fine. So I'm going to take you through what comes in the kit. You get some really detailed instructions, which I have in front of me right now. Four tins, which are screw top lids, which is really handy because that's kind of what you want. I'm currently looking for a bigger size because they are a bit small, um, but I do like these for this kit. It's very good. Uh, tapioca starch, which comes in a really clearly labeled bag. You get the butter blend, uh, mango and shea butter, you get the antioxidant and sunflower oil blend which comes in a really good glass container, you get 5 mils of the fragrance oil which is good because you actually only need 3 for this kit and you get a pipette. And that's all that comes in it, I just showed you the bottom of the box. <laughs> so here's the instructions but um, I won't really, you can pause it if you want to read them but it, yeah it's just kind of simple, there's a lot of videos online showing how to make this. So the other things you need to provide yourself is a glass jug and a hand mixer. Ignore the bowl there. So first of all, I put my uh, mango butter and shea butter blend and tapioca starch into the Pyrex jug. It's a bit hard to get out because it's a little bit cold here, but it's not that hard in the end of the day. Um, and then I melted it in the microwave. It said on the instructions to use a double boiler, but it also said that you can use a microwave in short bursts. So I did some short bursts. I can't remember how long it was for, but not that long. Um, and then at the end of it, it wasn't completely clear, as you can see right now, but I couldn't get it to become any clearer. So I then just put in the sunflower and antioxidant blend and then stirred it thoroughly and used an electric mixer for 30 seconds to whip it. And then after that, which you'll see soon, um, I added the three mils of my fragrance oil using the pipette which is um, a little bit hard to get exactly three mils so I might have been a little bit over but um, I definitely had some extra which is nice and then you put it in the freezer for um, oh and then you whip it for 30 seconds more and then put it in the freezer for seven more minutes seven more I just mean seven minutes just put it in the freezer for seven minutes it's very easy to time yourself if you have a phone handy and then after those seven minutes, you can see me timing myself. Um, you whip it again for another three to four minutes. So it starts to become a little bit throffy, but not too much. 
Um, and then after those three to four minutes are up, you whip it for another five minutes, or you freeze it for another five minutes, and then after that five minutes, you do more whipping. So I'll, I'll explain it when we get to that part of the video. So this is the, after um, the last time in the freezer. It was quite good because it firmed up really fast. Um, so what you do is you whip for a final five minutes, or until soft peaks form. If you know anything about baking, that's basically when you can lift it up and soft peaks will form. And then, not that you can see it very well on video, I didn't realize I was at a frame, but I then spooned it into my container. Some people pipe it in, but just because this is like me learning how to do it, I thought it'd be very easy to just fill them. Um, and then I took a paper towel and cleaned around the edges. It's actually really hard to get the edges completely clean, and it's probably better that you wait until everything's dry. We're back. So the things I really enjoyed about this kit was how easy the instructions were to follow. I think that they were very detailed and very simple. Um, I just really enjoyed how simple it was and how quick this whole thing was. The things I also enjoyed was how it kind of said to you on the website what you needed right from the beginning, what it said, what it came with, so you kind of had an idea and then the only thing I had to go get myself was a hand mixer. Um, it would be nice if they'd mentioned, because I know as a soap maker, that you shouldn't use the ones that you use for your kitchen, but they don't mention that, which is fine, because I guess some people don't plan on making soap and there's no point in them buying um, equipment that they are not going to use again, like just solely for soap and candles. Um, so it's lucky that I was planning on buying a hand mixer anyway, but if someone doesn't have that and then they didn't know that they probably shouldn't mix a food equipment with a soap and candle equipment, um, I mean it's not bad if they do, but you probably just shouldn't. Um, so it, it, I think that they should have maybe mentioned that, that there are some ingredients, well not ingredients, equipment that you should get solely for this kit. Um, but otherwise the kit came with everything you needed, um, it was really good and I can actually reuse those containers I got. The things I didn't like, as I mentioned at the beginning, was the fact that their recipe that they used, which I know they're with, well within their rights, but they're providing a kit so then you can do your own body butters and I guess maybe they don't see it as people wanting to learn how to make the body butter but then they can't really go use the recipe in the future so they're providing a kit that comes with a mango and shea butter blend which is fine and then a kit that also comes with a sunflower oil and antioxidant blend but they don't list the ratios or they don't list those blends on their website and that means for someone who really likes this recipe or has no clue how to make recipes or is not really comfortable with following random recipes they find online and they trust the one from the kit it means they can't go then buy those products afterwards to then make their body butter and I mean I know everyone not everyone thinks that the thing they're making from the kit is exactly what they want but as someone who's just starting out it, it is a bit difficult when you can't then go buy the things from the kit to then go make it for yourself and it doesn't mean that you're going to go sell it but you might want to make more and you don't really want to rebuy the kit every time so I think Maybe they should either list a recipe or they should just have those blends on their website. It's not hard to have blends. I mean, it would be a bit annoying to carry them. But even if they just listed a simple recipe, it's like a 50-50 ratio or something like that. It would be really good and I think it would make this kit a lot better in my opinion. Um, that's just like a little thing for me. But as a kit itself, I thought it was really cool and I really enjoyed it. And i totally buy another one of the kits. Um, not that there's any that I'm really keen on right now. I'm thinking maybe the lip balm one, uh, but I'm not sure. So I bought this kit from Pure Nature, which is a New Zealand based store and website. I bought it for $25 with my own money and that was not including shipping. I used 500 Pure Points to get some money off. I think it was $5, so it ended up being $20 plus I think $7 shipping, so $27. And um, you get four full size containers. Um, so yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!